Mga kasama po natin ngayong araw sa pamamasyal dito sa UPLB Museum of Natural History ang kanilang direktor at profesor din ng Zoology sa Institute of Biological Sciences. Walang iba kundi ang kanilang gwapong-gwapong direktor. Let us all welcome, kasama natin, Dr. Juan Carlos Gonzalez. Hi, Sir JC. Good morning. Ay, ang pala. Magandang araw, syempre, di ba? <laughs> All right. Syempre, Sir, sasamahan niyo kami sa pamamasyal dito sa Museum, Museum of Natural History. Museum of Natural History. All right. Let's go. Sa sayang ng kalikasan ng tawag po namin. Oh, um, so yun pala yon. Okay. Siyempre, ito, Natural History. Museum of Natural History. Ano ano, ano ba sabihin pag sinabi mong Natural History? Um, natural history, o tinatawag natin kasaysayan ng kalikasan, mm -hmm. ay isang uri na pag-aaral at pagdodokumento ng mm -hmm. lahat ng buhay in the natural world. Okay. So, lahat po ng mga uh, flora and fauna, mm -hmm. actually, ang kaming pag-aaral po dito sa Natural History Museum ay from microbes to mammals. Oh, okay. right. It goes mm -hmm. through all uh, biomes and life, and life forms. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. At syempre, di ba, pag-usapan natin biodiversity. Ayan, usually natin narinig pag nag-aaral tayo, biodiversity. Siguro share na lang natin doon sa karamihan. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng biodiversity? So, biodiversity po, or biological diversity, mm -hmm. ay yung diversity of life in yes. the world. Mm -hmm. And the Philippines is a hotspot for biodiversity. Mm -hmm. So, marami po tayong iba't ibang klase ng hayop, halaman, at mikrobyo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dito po, actually, we're celebrating the decade of biodiversity ends in 2021. So, maganda po na nandito kayo at ma-highlight yes. po natin ang Philippine biodiversity kasi napaka-diverse po talaga ng Philippines. Mm -hmm. Talaga, sabi nga, rich in biodiversity ang Philippines. Pero, unang-una, bakit pala na itayo itong museum na ito dito sa UPLB? So, ang UPLB Museum Natural History mm -hmm. was created in September 30, 1976. So, we're celebrating 42 years. Wow, 42 na. 42. Mm -hmm. So, ito po ay actually a set of collections. Okay. So, ang pagtuturo po kasi ng Natural History, kasama daw po dyan yung mga specimens, mm -hmm. kaya po ay tayo nasa museo, uh, marami po tayong collections involving both uh, dried specimen and fluid specimen, including live specimens na microbio at saka fungi. Mm -hmm. So, nabuo po yung mga collections, yung teaching collections, at yun din pong mga tao nagsimula noon ang nagbuo ng National History Museum, 1976. Alam mo nakakatuwa, uh, Director, kasi naririnig ko, yung parang alam mo, kahit nasa museum ka, yung ambience, di ba parang nasa labas ka rin eh, parang yung, yung kalikasan na andito na nararamdaman ko sa loob. Oh, actually, it's part of the slogan of the museum. Uh -huh. we, we bring uh, nature, uh, we bring people closer to nature yes. and nature closer to people. Mm -hmm. So, kwento nyo kami, paano na pepper serve? Like this, meron tayong mga naan dito. Ano to, sir? Ay, parang mga insects so, ito. So, these are part of our life collection. Okay. So, aside from the museum specimens, mm -hmm. that are all in exhibit na 
uh, of course, they're dead or at least model. Mm -hmm. We have actual specimens who also mm -hmm. use models and representations. But we also had mga live collections, especially oh, for oh. insects. Because these are more or less easier to take care of. And maganda po na iugnay natin sa publiko. Yes. Especially for children who oh, oh. burn out. Mas naitindihan na bakit katakot sa ipes. Oh, Pero maraming oh, oh. klaseng ipes like these. Nakahawa ka na ba yan? Nakahawa ka naman po. These are forest coaches. Okay. Ayan. So, Ipaitsura niya yun, no? Pero hindi ba mahirap ma-preserve yung ganitong klase ng mga, let's say, mga animals, mga insects, di ba? Actually, may kanya-kanya po silang preservation techniques. Uh -oh. So, for halaman, kailangan may proper pressing mm -hmm. yan. Kita po lahat ng parts, from flowers to fruits. So, okay. lahat po ng uh, reproductive parts na higita. Kasi, importante po sa atin na yung voucher specimen, siya po ang representation mm -hmm. nung record na yon nung hayop po halaman na yon mm -hmm. So, for sa halaman po, yun yung voucher special Importante po yan as a record. Nalaman nyo kung saan siya nakita, saan siya nakuha. Especially for holotypes, pag describe po yung isang halaman o kayo, kailangan may representation. We have our, that's actually our, our um, importante sa amin yung staff. We have yes. a set of 18 staff who are, are dedicated mm -mm. for the study of nature. And we also have curators who are seconded staff from faculty who are amazing at, at helping us develop this. Oh, oh. Parang hindi lang basta trabaho na may tuturing eh, no? Iba yung task and duty, yes! Kasi yung pong pag-aaral ng taxonomy mm -mm. ay isang hindi naman sa'yo endangered species na halos <laughs> na job kasi mm -hmm. konti lang po yung nag-aaral ng taxonomy. And importante mm -hmm. po yung taxonomy understanding the species itself, yung systematics, ilang species ba meron? Kasi pag sinabi natin, importante ang biological diversity. Mm -hmm. Diversity is the number of species. Hindi mo lang po ilan yan. Paano mo mag So how do you protect something that you don't know? The Philippines is still recording a lot of mm -hmm. new species and new records every year. Okay. Actually, may ilan po na na-discovery na ang aming staff. From, from this year alone, mm -hmm. uh, kinapangalanan pa nila. I'm um, actually very lucky kasi sa my staff and my the curators named three uh, organisms after me. Wow, Ever talaga! Ever since we started ako dito for mm -hmm. three years. Mm -hmm. so, ano pili? It's an honor. Mm -hmm. Kasi if your name, if a species is named after you, yes. that's a, a big honor in biology and natural mm -hmm. history. Parang award po yan na hindi mo mapapalitan ng basta-basta. Mm -hmm. basta. Kasi kahit mamatay po ako, Ma yes, yun, eh. I will live forever Correct. in that species. Mm -hmm. So actually, the museum itself, the building is a heritage building. It was built in the 50s. So it's a push mm -hmm. and exhibition for all the collections that we mm -hmm. have. But also, the collections po namin ay nasa separate building. Okay. So most of the 500,000 specimens that we amassed uh, through those years mm -hmm. ay nakatago din po sa iba-ibang lokasyon. So some po ay nasa... Uh, which is Kohol, which is by a side building. Ah, Meron okay. po tayo yung herbario, uh, yung forest to herbarium po natin as a forest through biological sciences. And also the museum manages the UKLD Portorium, which is a showcase of live plants uh, that were planted from the old CEO. Mm -hmm. But basically, saan nagagaling yung mga halaman at mga hayop na nandito? Ah, so for many years po, <laughs> then po ay from all over the Philippines. Uh -huh. um, we also have a few collections that were donated from other countries. Mm -hmm. um, it's in a mass of, from, siguro from Batanes to Tawi-Tawi ang collection po namin. But of course, these are from um, microbes okay. to mammals, mm -hmm. flora and fauna. Uh, that was um, collected by a lot of the different professors and also expeditions by the museum itself. Mm -hmm. So, marami din po kami expeditions na pinuntahan uh, through the 46, 42 years. Mm -hmm. So, lahat po nung sinusubukan namin i-update mm -hmm. on changes kasi nagbabago din po ating pagsusuri ng mga ng biodiversity. So, katulad po nung nagbago na ating pananaw sa relationship ng insects, um, dati po yung itis at saka ang uh, termites, uh -huh. ngayon po ay isang grupo na lang. Okay. So, ang termites po pala ay EP. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dito, ano makikita natin, Director? Itong so, area na to. So, ito yung exhibit namin for mushrooms. Mushrooms. So, meron po kami mycological collection. Mm -hmm. uh, dito nyo po makikita ito. Iba-ibang klaseng uh, fungi. Okay. So, um, ito po yung moral. Isa pong klaseng fungi na Pero meron kasi na nasandali lang ang buhay kaya maganda po namin yung specimen. Oo. Oh, oh. Makikita mo sila kasi pag natuyo na po sila, hindi nyo lang sila makikita. So, ito po yung structure na nabuko ng cap na para pong lace. Mm -mm. Kasi ito po yung auricularia. Pinatawag natin yung sangkayang daga. Aurica actually means ear. So, yung scientific name po na nakalagay dyan actually represents po ano po yung description for that particular organism. Pero ito lahat sa Pilipinas lang makikita. Ito po kadamihan ang sinu-showcase namin are Philippine species. 
Wow. Oo. Sometimes some of the specimens we have are also endemic species, mm -hmm. meaning sa Pilipinas lang natin dito. Mm -hmm. And nowhere else in the world. So yung collections po namin are both preserved as dried or as fluid specimens or tickled specimens. Mm -hmm. Most of these are preserved in ethyl alcohol. Kasi siya po yung mas matagal siya. Importante po talaga ng well feel. Tapos pinatop of sa pagkaan. Hindi yan, ano, parang matutunaw na later on. Hindi, Hindi ba kasi, sobrang babad? Preservative po siya ng 70-80% uh -huh. of uh -huh. alcohol. Yung dati po, we usually use a fixative for formaldehyde in form of uh -huh. solution. Yes. But that's only a fixative. Okay. That's just to, to fix the specimen. Mm -hmm. Tapos yung then, yung talagang full preservation, you put it in. So, uh, yung iba dito, may mga formalin din? Hindi na po, na-transfer na po. So, sa umpisa lang siya in formaldehyde and then you transfer it to the Wow. Okay. Next. Ito. Ano mga pwedeng kainin dyan? Yung ano lang, no? Ah, meron po lang. mga species na edible, meron din pong poisonous. Oh, wow. So, maganda din nga po na sinu-showcase natin yung information na which species are used as edible species and which species shouldn't be eaten. Kasi, mm -hmm. hindi na po sa punjay na magkakamukha. Baka, Totoo. Especially in the field, baka bigla na lang umitas tapos iluto yung pala poisonous. Meron po din tayo na tawag na hadis, hasit, hadis, hadis, Hadisinogenic mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Anin, sir? So, drug-inducing. Oy, babal yan. Siyempre, nabalita namin na ang program ng museum na ito ay uh, cave, a Small Cave Biodiversity and Biodiversity Small, small island. Islands in the Philippines. Ano yun, sir? So, it's part of our research program. Okay. Dito. So, aside from our exhibition, we, also, mm -hmm. uh, we are also accepted for research. All right. So, sa po ay, we go on expeditions mm -hmm. and try to... Um, look into the biodiversity of a particular area. Ikaw so, mismo kasama doon? Kumasama din po uh -huh. sa expedition, mm -hmm. pero karanay po, may staff may kanya-kanya po. Meron po kasi kami uh, uh, researchers, mga reps, at, as well as yung amin pong mga museum technicians are well-versed in uh, collection and management. Uh -huh. um, so, pagpukuha po ng specimens, pag-preserve, at pagdadala po dito sa collection. So, help enrich our collection. Mm -hmm. and of course, also to record uh, the diversity of life in any particular place. So, meron po kami focus yung A, biodiversity research at saka po yung small islands biodiversity research. Mm -hmm. Ayun. And speaking of, sabi nga natin kanina, small islands in the Philippines, meron din tayong mga makikita dito na, ano ba? That's dito right. sa museum, yes. Yeah. So, kasi po sa likod niyo yung Nindoro, uh, this one? endemic na Tamarao. Okay. Ito po ay nanggaling sa Tamar Conservation Program sa punan specimen. Mm -hmm. So, ito po ay nakikita lamang sa Mindoro Island. Mm -hmm. uh, ito po yung highlight. It's the largest mammal in the Philippines. Ito, no? So, ganun sa katagal sa sir? Itong, itong display na to? Uh, meron na po siya mga 20 years. 20 years na. Okay. So, ito yung anak? Tama ba? No. Uh, ito this po one. yung mga juvenile. So, po yung yeah. halves. Mm -hmm. So, maliit po lang po talaga yung it's related to the buffalo, so water buffalo, the, the carabao, pero talagang ito is big species po ba sa Mugarensis. Oh, at so, napapreserve talaga, no? Okay. Parang ang galing, buhay na buhay ang dating. So, that, yan po ang display uh, version po ng taxidermy. Okay. So, we also have here doon sa specimens na nakonected sa Polilio, small island, mm -hmm. ay isa po sa pinakamaliit na isla sa Pilipinas. Dati po siyang nasa Guinness Book na smallest fish, kaso nga lang ay nakikang mas maliit sa Borneo, so hindi na po siya ang nasa Guinness Book as the smallest freshwater fish. Ito po yung pagdaka ng Guinness Book for dwarf Guinness Book. Katabi po niya yung other small or micro gobies na makikita sa Pilipinas, kasi na ng dulong, at saka po yung sinarapan na makikita naman sa Bicol. So yung specimen po namin ng pygmy gobies, dalawa po, isa po yung pinangalan uh, ang pintawag na uh, pandaka tray na pula at naglo po kasi yung spot niya yung nakikita niya sa picture. So ang nagpangalan po dyan ay Emperor ng Japan. Wow! Siya po ay isang taxonomist na nag-aaral po siya ng isla at ito po yung specialization. So pumunta siya dito sa Philippines? Or dito na siya noon? Noong time na yun? Hindi po. Ito ay nakita sa Japan. Ah, sa Japan? Hindi mo? Okay. Ano to, sir? So, ito po yung mga specimens ng fish. Fish. Puro fish. Mostly from Lake Taal. Okay. 
Tapos, kapila na naman po ay mga invertebrates. Katulad po ng mga corals, um, the pinoderms, mm-hmm. the starfish. Meron mm-hmm. din po kami mga maganda na shell exhibit. At doon sa taas po napansin na meron tayong yung land snail. Yes. The terrestrial mm-hmm. shell exhibit. So, pati po yung diversity of mollusks meron po sa ito. Grabe. Sobrang amazing, Sir JC. Siyempre, di ba, magpapasalamat kami sa pag-tour mo sa akin, sa mga nakita ko ngayon dito, na-witness ko, at mga natutunan ko pa, siyempre. Why don't you invite our televiewers to visit this museum? So, ayun po. Mm-hmm. Maraming salamat po sa inyo po. Yes. Sa amin dito sa Museum Natural History. Mm-hmm. And we are welcoming everybody to come over at the Museum Natural History. Uh, we are open Mondays to Fridays. Uh, except all the days ago, um, 8 to 5, this was a uh, UPL campus. Dito po sa, tapat po na si FNR, what you want to do. So, if you still have my Indiana Natural World, welcome to my studio. Thank you so much, uh, Director. Maraming maraming salamat po. Ngang ang Pilipinas ay hitik sa likas na yaman. Isa lamang ang museyong ito sa mga kumokolekta at nagpepreserba ng iba't ibang uri ng hayop, halaman, puno at mga insekto. Hindi lamang para maging atraksyon. Ayon nga kay Dr. JC na wa magsilbi itong lugar na magbibigay ng kaalaman lalo na sa mga kabataan at magbibigay paalala sa lahat na lahat ng likha ng Diyos ay mahalaga. Ako po si Jel Miranda. Bisitahin niyo po ang UPLB Museum of Natural History. Promise, hindi kayo magsisisi dahil bukod sa marami kayong makikita, marami rin kayong matututunan. Ito po ang DOS-TV, Science for the People.